Hi, welcome. As some of you know, I teach two classes, Corporate Finance and Valuation. And I'm often asked what I require as prerequisites for taking these classes. And I tell them I need three things. The first is I need common sense and a sense of curiosity that has to come from within you. The second is a basic understanding of accounting. And about a year ago, I created my version of an accounting class that covers all the accounting you need to know, at least from my perspective, in corporate finance and valuation. And the third skill I asked them to bring in is a basic understanding of statistics. Now, let's be quite honest. Statistics classes, as often taught at universities and colleges, are designed to suck all the joy out of statistics and leave us with a sense of, why did I waste my time taking this class? Which is unfortunate. Because to me, statistics is one of those skills we need more than ever before in almost every aspect, uh, aspect of our lives. Let's face it. Everything we do in our lives is governed by somebody using statistics or sometimes misusing it. I mean, think about where we are in time. This session is being recorded in 2021 and COVID is all around us. Think about the statistics that have driven your life for the last year and a half. What are your chances of getting COVID? Should you wear a mask? Should you get vaccinated? Once vaccinated, what are your chances of still getting COVID? If you do get COVID, what are your chances of ending up in the hospital? And we're faced with statistics. Those statistics have driven policy. And to, for better or worse, we need to understand how those statistics work. In a broader context, much of our health care for the last few decades has been driven by statistics. I mean, think about how insurance is designed. The way you pay for insurance is based on statistics what percentage of people get sick, with what disease, how much does it cost, and how much do we need to charge people to cover those costs. And once you get sick, it's all statistics. The treatment you get is based on studies that show a certain treatment as a higher percentage chance of working than another treatment. And of course, last year was an election year in the US. And during election years, you see statistics come into play. In what form? In the form of polls. And you'll notice that on the same day, you can get three different polls, giving you three very different possible outcomes for the same contest. You're saying, how can that be? Statistics. And finally, on election day, you're saying, thank God, no more statistics. Think again. Who wins an election often is determined by the sample of the, the voting population that shows up to vote. Remember what I said, it's a sample. Not everybody shows up to vote. And guess what? If your sample is skewed towards people who like one person more than the other, on that election day, you're going to win the election. And that's just a subset of how statistics runs our lives. So clearly, if you're asking me why statistics, the answer is all around you. Your life is determined by statistics. So what is this class going to be about? It's going to be about fighting back against the fact that our grasp of statistics, and I'm including myself in R in this group, is fleeting. What we remember from our statistics classes is long since gone. So our decisions are often based on intuition and gut feeling. We base how we behave not on statistics, but on anecdotal evidence. And when we look at the data, we drown in it. There's so much data. We're also surrounded by people who treat estimates as facts. And for the last year and a half, we've had that going on. You think, what's the difference? Statistics will give you the answer. In fact, I'm going to argue that there are very few facts out there, that all we deal with are estimates. And if you have experts with agendas, they will bend those statistics to make whatever case they want to take. A lot of policy is driven by bad statistics. When I thought about constructing this class, I have to start from what my primary interests are. They're in finance and investing, not statistics per se. And I learned statistics the hard way. I learned statistics that ran into a problem and discovered that statistics often had the solution, not my financial textbooks. So I've learned the lessons the hard way through bad experiences. 
This course, if you can call it that, is an accumulation of the statistics knowledge I've learned along the way over the last 35 years to 40 years of investing in valuation and that I've found useful. I mean, to me, statistics plays a very, very important role in how we invest in value companies. It lets us play what I call money ball with the data. For those of you who have never heard the term Moneyball, it's the title of one of my favorite movies, where a little known general manager, young GM, had a baseball team in Oakland, Billy Bean is the manager, the Oakland A's were the baseball team, discovered that using statistics allowed him to make better decisions than listening to gut feeling or rules of thumb. What a unique time in investing history. We have access to more data than we've ever had before. We have access to more powerful tools than ever before. And we need statistics more than ever before. So let me be very clear about what I'm going to try to do in this class. This is a statistics class designed for investing in finance. And it will be determined by my personal experience and what I, what I find useful. So as you go through this class, you might find holes that you say, well, how come we're not talking about that? And I'll make a confession. This is not a full statistics class. It's not designed to be that. It's designed to be just enough statistics that you can operate, that you can invest, that you can value companies. So who is this course for? It's primarily for investing in finance people. But I hope those of you are not in investing in finance. And how can anybody not be in investing in finance? Because after all, you do have money that you invest. And it's designed for people whose statistical knowledge is old and stale and they need a brush up. They need to go back and review concepts that they haven't looked at for 10 years, 20 years, 25 years, or if they looked at it last year, they were completely forgotten. I'll tell you what this, who, who this class is not for. It's not for academic researchers because if you're going to use statistics in an academic paper, you will need a far deeper understanding of statistics than anything I will cover here. It's not for statistics geeks who want to play inside statistics games. I'm not interested in those. This is a class for those people who want to understand enough statistics that they can deal with the rest of the world, especially in the investment arena. So here are my objectives for the class. By the end of these 15 sessions that I've planned for you, Here's what I hope you will get out of the class. I hope you will understand the tools you have in your statistics tool chest that you can draw on when faced with a question that you're trying to answer. So know what's in your tool chest. Second, knowing which tool to use and how to use it is just as critical. We'll go over, we'll go over how to do that. And thirdly, even if you don't plan to use these tools, other people will use these tools on you. And I hopefully will give you enough of a, back, of a background that you can examine whether they're playing games with the tools. You can ask them the right questions and you can figure out whether you're being misled with the data. At the end of the 15th session, I'll come back and ask you whether we got these objectives done. But I hope you'll come along for the ride. Thank you. And I hope to see you for the next 15 sessions.